Are we doing uh, legs together or like? Uh, it's going to be legs together. Yes, yeah, okay. Okay. But the first thing is to rehearse the upper body movement. Okay. And what you do then is as if you're looking over your right shoulder, lean over your right elbow and let your left shoulder drop. That's the move. And now side bend uh, to the left with your head going to the left shoulder. And look over the left elbow. Yeah, so you can just rehearse that to get familiar. That sounds a lot like the pattern, too. Uh huh. You can go like as you, each stroke goes down each side of the back. Yeah, and as you do this more, you'll be able to sink more. Right now, your elbows are about two, three inches forward of your. Well, it is on the right side. Let's see how it is when you're centering. We want the elbows directly beneath the shoulders as you're doing this. And your elbows are a little bit forward, so pull back an inch or so. And then adjust for comfort. And do it, oh, try palm down. You're going to get a different effect. And then do that side twist rehearsal. And as you do, reach with your left, right leg. Right now, reach with the right leg. There, you feel how that helps the movement? Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, you switch legs and sides. And it's good. That's good. Notice how this wants to push forward. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, no, notice it. Just notice it. It's part of the movement. It's a sensuous quality to that movement because you're actually teaching yourself flexibility through the shoulders and chest. Mm -hmm. Now, with the left shoulder protruding forward and the right shoulder sink back. And it's now the left leg that reaches and pull the right knee into the surface. See, and short of trembling. Trembling is too much effort. And then you switch again. And uh, within your comfort zone, continue until you feel done. And then lie on your back and sense the, the difference.